I am a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. In 2015, I stepped into a very special collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. While there, I did nothing but write, but they weren't my words. I always believed they were the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Nearly two years later, God spoke directly into my heart. He said, dude, come on. We got to get you to write in other collections of trees, mainly your own forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. You see, in every place that I have written, the spirit of Billy's lyrics vibrate the purpose and plan that God has put into play. I never know what I'm going to write about when I enter any collection of trees. That's why they're not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 341, November 6th, 2022. Daylight savings time. Yep, we've pulled the clocks back one hour. I don't see the trees, the dried up leaves, tall grass, and slow paced stream being affected. I mean, science says we need more light. It helps humans deal with reality. I see it as man making godlike decisions with less sunlight. Sure, I go through mental journeys that require my studio to be lit up like a Christmas tree, but to totally replant our presence in time doesn't do anything but show history how we think we're smarter than the universe. It's okay for governments to adopt time schedules to save fuel, but what it does to the human mindset doesn't seem too important. I mean, seriously, suicides and substance abuse increase, saving light, losing lives, What's important here, huh? My forest is a place of connection. No matter how many leaves are left on the trees, those long sticks stuck feet first into the clay serve as a reminder to keep reaching towards spring. Do what you can with limited light. I do suffer from these moments where the clock is moving ahead or it's moving back. It does affect me, and I've learned how to adopt a lifestyle that does Take what's happening and put it in a positive place. Light is everything to me. If you were in the studio right now, you would go, jeez, dude, give me a pair of sunglasses. What is going on? What is this thing with you and light? Light gives me energy. And when I walk into this studio and there's no light outside these windows, that affects me. And I'm not alone. That's the greatest thing about it. We just aren't talking about it, though. We need to have this system of choices that allow us to be present in our moment of now. And when things like this happen, it's not just one moment the lights are out. It's several months when the lights are out. We need to be able to be writers. We need to be creative. We need to tap into some sort of energy that says to us, it's okay. The day is going to go as planned or maybe not so much. But being in this moment of darkness doesn't have to be the shade of your heart. I write every morning. That helps me. I surround myself with lights every day. That helps me. But what about you? Are you living in darkness as well? Have you decided to make a change in your plan and path that help you push yourself beyond this daylight savings crap? It's something that gets inside the souls of millions of people worldwide, but they're doing it in the name of saving fuel, not lies. Can we get together to make a change? How is it possible? I'm Arrow. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.